Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do this flower crown. I got a lot of requests to do it and I was debating on doing this because there are so many tutorials but then I realized that there's so many different ways that you can make it and flower variations and patterns. So I just decided that I was going to make it. And I also think it's perfect timing because the festivals are coming up and it's spring almost. And yeah, so you can learn how to make this just in time for any of those things. So yeah, if you want to learn how to make this or any other type of flower crown then just keep on watching. So for this you're going to need some artificial flowers or fake flowers, some gardening wire, pliers or a wire cutter, some gardening tape, scissors, and a hot glue gun and glue. So basically to start out you're going to cut out three even wire things that will kind of fit the shape of your head and you want to make it a little bit longer. And to be honest, I would use pliers or just don't get these, that wire cutter because it sucked. Then once you do that, you're just going to braid it. And I don't know if anyone else mentioned this in their like flower crown tutorials, but braiding this was so freaking difficult. Like I was like gonna poke my eye out and I just hate gardening wire and I never want to use it again unless I'm making a cute crown because it's cute, but it was terrible. But basically once you're done, with braiding it you're just going to kind of make it like a halo and then you're just going to secure it with gardening tape and then once you're done with that we're now done with the terrible gardening wire that I never want to use again we're going to pull off the flowers I actually got these flowers from Michaels they're I think like $12.99 but I just really really liked these ones and it came with a lot but you can do whatever and then once you pull out all the flowers you're just going to cut the ends of each flower Now it's time for the hot glue gun and you want to be careful because I picked this thing up and totally burned my hand but basically you just hot glue gun the bottom and then you stick it right on the halo and you want to hold it. It is a little time consuming but you really want to make sure that the glue dries or else they'll kind of slide and get really messy and then they kind of won't really stick as well. So you just want to make sure that you are just taking it slow. But basically, I just put these pink flowers all the way around the halo. So, once I was finished with that, I took the little mini flowers that came on the set and kind of just put those ones in the little gaps. I didn't really cut any of that. I just kind of stuck them right in the little gaps because if you cut them, then the whole flower would come apart. But I found that the pairs worked perfectly for each little gap. So once I was done with that, that's what it looked like and I actually had four extra pink flowers and so what I did was I kind of put those right over some of the flowers just to kind of give it some layering right in the front of the crown because I thought that that would be really cute. And then finally once I was done with that, I just took a few more little flowers and just kind of put them in any leftover gaps. That was pretty much it and I'm so obsessed with how it turned out. I just want to thank everyone who requested me to do this because if I never got requests, I probably would have never done this because it's such a popular thing on YouTube and stuff and I didn't really think it needed to have another video, but you know what? It's okay. There's room for everyone here on YouTube, so I'm just going to do it. And it's also perfect timing because of all the spring festivals and Coachella and all those things. So you guys can just kind of learn how to make it. And, you know, like I said in the beginning, there's all different sorts of varieties. And maybe someone hasn't made this exact crown. So, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to send me pictures if you end up making it. Because I'd love to see how your guys' turned out. So, yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Danny Official. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!